normally don't drink cold brew from a can, but this was on sale at the grocery store and we figured why not give it a shot. And it tastes good, recommend. Today, we're gonna talk about three things that I like about my JH Audio in-ears and three things that I don't like about my JH Audio in-ears. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the three things I like and dislike about these guys, stop right there. And if you want, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all the new videos I post on this channel. There's three new videos every single week. And if you hit subscribe, you'll be the first one to see it, or at least not be notified if you want. Now, all that to be said, I've been using in-ears for about 10 years now. I bought my first pair of customs about nine years before that. I used universals for about a year, and eventually they, I just got to the point where I wanted to buy customs because they just the universals didn't fit my ears great, or the ones I had just didn't fit great. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, it's no secret that I absolutely love my JH Audio in-ears. I have nothing but good things to say about them. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's start with the three things that I like, and then we'll get into the things that I, I dislike about these guys. Before I get into the things that I like about these guys, I just wanted to say it was really hard to just narrow it down to just three things that I like, because there are so many good things about these in-ears. Number one, the actual sound of these guys is very round and almost like natural versus other in-ear companies that I've experienced they tend to be very like hi-fi or like a very accentuated top end and accentuated low end, but the mid range is kind of forgotten about. And these guys have a really warm mid range. And I love that, especially for drums. I just, I feel like it gives me a more accurate representation of what the drums are doing instead of having that massive EQ curve right in the middle of the, the frequency range or the mid range if you know about EQ. The second thing that I love about these guys is the in-ears are built just really, really good and very, they're very robust. Like they feel like they could take a lot of abuse. This cable and where the in-ears actually meet the, the cable are just, they're just very robust and very, very just, there's confidence in that cable. And not just the cables are, are really well built. The case itself is really, really well built. It feels like an aluminum case. You screw it on and I mean, I'm, I'm confident that if a car ran this over, my inners would still be okay inside. I don't recommend doing that because, I mean, these are expensive and you don't wanna have to pay more money for them, but if it ever happened, I would have confidence that these would be okay after being run over by a car. The third thing that I love about these guys has nothing to do with the actual inners themselves. It's the customer service at JH Audio. From the time that JH Audio received my in-ears to my in-ears showing up at my door was less than a week. And not to mention within that week, the customer service reps at JH Audio were great. They were super professional and they were, they just, they made you feel like they really cared about you and your experience instead of some of the other in-ear companies that just kind of make you feel like you're just another number and they have more important things to do other than answer your questions about your, your in-ears. When you're spending a lot of money on something like this, you just, you want to feel like somebody cares as much as you do about your, your in-ears. And the guys at JH Audio did a really good job of making me feel that way when I was going through that process. And now, we're getting to the things that I, I dislike. Maybe dislike is the wrong word. It, maybe it's more, depending on the context, I would prefer this. That's probably a better way to say it, but I guess you could say dislike. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee first. Oh, that's so good. Coffee, tasty. Now, before I get into the negative things, I wanted to say the, the positives vastly outweigh the bad things. And these bad things aren't necessarily, like they're not deal breakers. And some of them are just like situational preferences. So it, it could change depending on the situation, basically. First thing 
that I, I wish was a little bit different is going to fall under that situational type of thing. There are times where the high end doesn't cut through as much as I would like it to, like an in-ear monitor, and this mostly happens when my in-ear mix isn't great or like I'm just dealing with a really weird in-ear situation. I think the reason that they don't sound as bright as my other in-ears is because it has that mid-range in there, so it can it has the tendency to sometimes get a little muddy. A lot of times when you're experiencing that, you can like change the EQ on your P16 or have your sound guy kind of boost the high end a little bit to help things cut through. But overall, if I had to choose between having the mid-range or having clarity and everything and having an overly bright in-ear, I would choose the mid-range every single time. But sometimes I have to boost the high end a little bit on these guys. The second thing that I wish was different is something that actually I think they updated with their more recent headphones or their headphone cables and it's this headphone jack right here. There's a lip on the tip right here. And most of the time, this is a totally, it's totally fine and you know, it's, it's again, it's really robust and everything else, but there are times where it doesn't fit perfectly in quarter to eighth inch jack, so I have to carry my own so that I ensure that it, the lip doesn't get in the way, something like that. Because sometimes this lip won't sit flush. Again, I know they fixed it already with their other cable. Um, this is the older cable, but that's something that I do wish was different. And I could probably just buy another one and it'd be totally fine, but I mean, this one works fine and I'm gonna use it till it doesn't work anymore. And then I'll get a new one and that probably won't be a problem anymore. And the last, the last thing that I wish was a little bit different comes from the case. Now, I have the longer cable from JH Audio because I play drums and it would just make more sense to get the longer cable, but with that, it can get kind of crammed in this case when I'm trying to fit, fit everything. Like if you look, it's sticking out pretty significantly and I kind of have to, I kind of have to smush it down to get everything in in the case. Now, if you had the shorter cable, it's not an issue. It's just because I have the longer cable that I kind of have to cram everything in this case to make it fit. And it just sometimes, if I'm in a hurry, it kind of is just an extra step of having to roll it correctly to make sure everything fits in there. But again, I'd rather have a longer cable and deal with this issue than having a cable that's too short and not be able to use them or have to like do the plane with my head back thing because I've done that before and it's not a great experience. Again, I'd rather have a longer cable, but that is something that kind of sucks with how small this case is. Like I said, those bad things or negative things, c compared to all the positives that come from using these guys, it's, there's no contest. Like I would choose GH Audio every single time and they're just small little quirks that you're gonna get with like every company. If you're in the market to get in-ears, I highly recommend GH Audio and if you're looking for something that's universal, that's a little more affordable, I'll put some links to some good in-ears down below that I recommend. That's all I have for you guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Like I said before, hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date on new videos that I post on this channel three times a week. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Whoa, this thing is so good. It's just, it's so full and rich and like well-rounded. Like it has a lot of, lot of mid-range like these guys. Very uh, vintage. So good. During that whole video, I had to be careful not to look like I was looking at this notebook because I'll write things down for video ideas and that it's this whole video came from uh, that guy right there. So I was trying not to look like I was cross-eyed looking like, like that, but anyway, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.